There is also a cultural concept that we have to be taking our children on one-on-one -on -one dates and doing something amazing with them every single chance we get or they will not have a good childhood. That they better have gotten ice cream and a pony or yeah. <laughs> they won't have it. And I have not found that to be true at all. Um, so let me, let me give you an example of something that is so simple and yet so impactful. If I run to the grocery store, I pretty much never go alone because mm -hmm. there's always going to be at least one child that wants to slip in the car with me. And they'll usually sidle up to me and say, can I go with you? And I will say, sure. But if you want to go alone with me, if you want it to just be with mama, you're going to have to like sneak into the garage because you know four more are going to want to <laughs> And sometimes four more do come and that's fine. But that is such a simple but intentional way of saying this would be more gratifying to me for this to be me time, but instead I'm going to make this a t tiny mini date with my uh, six-year-old or with my 10-year-old or, you know, the, the teenagers don't do that as much. You have to kind <laughs> of different stuff with them. Um, but it doesn't have to be grandiose to make an impact on their little hearts. 